Hey guys, welcome back to Super Trick Man 01. You can see we are updated to the new version of Kerbal Space Program that includes all the NASA parts and the asteroids and the asteroid redirection tools. But that's not what we're going to do today. We are going to use some of those NASA parts. But what we are going to do is we are going to do a mission to Minmus, and this time, not only are we going to land on Minmus, we're also going to take off from Minmus and not uh, kill our Kerbal Knot, basically. So let's use our Mooner Lander Mark V, and we will get started. Basically, the only NASA part I'm really using now from the NASA update are these liquid fuel boosters. These things are great. They have so much thrust and so much, um, you know, other stuff that you are able to do get into orbit really, really easily. And while I'm looking at it now, I'm actually going to update this bad boy just a hair. Let's do this right here. And let's go ahead and head to the launch pad. Uh, let's make sure we have, yeah, the cockpit ball. Uh, not ball, Bob. Get out of the cockpit ball. We're going to use Billy Bobton for this mission. And we are going to launch in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. So you can see this bad boy's got quite a bit of power. We're actually, in the throttle back, which is one of the beauties of these liquid fuel boosters. Uh, we want to make sure we're not going over 200 meters a second before we hit to thir before we get out of the thick part of the atmosphere. Otherwise, we're really just wasting fuel, or so I've been told, at least. Right, so now we are right at about 200 meters a second. These fuel boosters are quite incredible. We are almost seven kilometers now and climbing eight kilometers Billy Bobden seems a little bit nervous but who can blame him the last guy that went to Minmus after all didn't uh, didn't come back in such great condition didn't come back at all as a matter of fact he died on Minmus all right so here in a second we'll be able to do a full boost Boost it. I'm just gonna keep doing that until everything's wobbling way more than it should be at this point. But hopefully it won't wobble apart. And something just blew up. But everything looks okay to me. So let's uh, take a look at our map screen. Alright, that's plenty high, plenty high. So we will go ahead and add a maneuver right there to get into orbit. Ooh, 953 meters, that's a really low periapsis. That's close enough, I think. Yeah, that'll work. So let's take a look at our ship and see if we're missing anything important. We seem to have everything we need, at least as far as I can tell. But that, I guess that doesn't mean too much. So, let's go ahead and do, get to our node. Let's do a quick, quick test burn. I guess we'll face our target direction first. And I can't move this bad boy at all without the help of RCS. But it's still fairly heavy. We have a lot of fuel left. So I don't want to waste that. Alright. Do a quick test burn. So we should actually be burning right about now. According to our... Woo! Our test burn. Went a little bit off target. That's okay. Oh, you know what? We can wait. We can wait just a little bit. Now it's saying we only need a 30 second burn. So let's go ahead and do our 30 second burn. 
while keeping an eye on our gauge right over here and we are about 10 seconds away the engine looks like it's gonna overheat but I don't think it will not come even close especially on this particular maneuver and oh, there we go let's get rid of this maneuver which we can now do with just one click saw Billy Bob then applauding his own heroics there so we're in a really nice orbit it's fairly circular hmm. quite a bit lower on that side though so let's go ahead and I guess try to raise it so it can be circular makes our maneuver is quite a bit easier. And stop right about now. Try to line up again. Gotta use RCS. Because this ship is so heavy. It'll become much more maneuverable once we lose our liquid fuel booster, our last remaining liquid fuel booster. So let's go ahead and turn off RCS now and we'll raise our periapsis to about 175 as well. We are at 140, 150, 160, 170. Eh, close enough. Dang it. Oh well. That's not too bad. So let's go ahead and target Minimus from here. So does target. Ooh. We are quite a bit off on that though. Our descending node. So let's see if we can fix that a little bit. Whoops. Maybe that way. 9.1. 11.7. 4.9, 1.3, that's pretty close, but it may not, ooh, 0.04, uh, I'm sorry, 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, that's probably close enough. So let's, how much fuel do we have left in this stage? Quite a bit, actually. So let's go ahead and try to line up our maneuver. Not sure where it is on this giant nav ball. If I'm thinking it'll be... I guess it's more likely to be on the, on the orange side, I would guess. Maybe. There it is. Found it. And our node is still really far away. So we have plenty of time and plenty of fuel. Alright, let's line that up right there. Turn off RCS. Go ahead and get close to the node. There's the moon, our friend. Mr. Moon. Hi, moon. You go a little bit faster, I suppose. And we'll slow down here in just a second. Okay, we almost ran right past it. Alright, let's go ahead and burn. We may even have enough fuel to do it. Oh, that's about right. And our ascending node is 0 0.02, which is plenty close, plenty close indeed. So now, we need to go ahead and figure out how we're going to get into our encounter with Minmus. Where is Minmus? Right here. Should be going that way, I believe. Could be wrong, though. Let's 
So let's just pick somewhere at random. We'll like swoop. Well, that's pretty close right there. So if I, oop, there we go. And it's got a nice periapsis to boot. So, I think I've just got a little tiny bit of fuel. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off right there. Let it get away from me just a little bit. It says a 17 second burn, but I'm not so sure. So let's give it a test burn. And now it's saying about two minutes. So let's go ahead and do a quick save where we are. And once we get about a minute away, I didn't even realize I was still throttled up. It must have barely, barely been. Uh, once we get about a minute away, we'll go ahead and start our burn towards Minmus. And we should be able to get... Oh, Billy Bob in super happy. And we should be able to not... to get a ton of science from it. So we are getting closer to our node now. About 13 game minutes away. Billy Bob Den's excited. I'm trying a new approach today. I'm trying to do as much of this in a single shot video as possible. See how that goes about. See what kind of quality of episode we get. I think it should be pretty interesting, personally. Obviously, I skipped over the building and stuff of our uh, ship earlier, but the actual mission is pretty much real time. All right, pretty close to our node now. So let's go ahead and start burning. And everything should be going pretty swimmingly at this point. It looks like our test burn was right on the money. And we should have a ton of fuel as well. This is uh, quite a long burn though. Try to stay right on top of our little blue dot. And the obvious goal that I have is to unlock the nuclear engines. Those will last for a very, very long time. So if I can get like 550 sciences, what I think I need to unlock them. I have five science right now after I've unlocked what I've already unlocked. So if we're able to do that, we'll be able to do some interplanetary missions relatively easily. As far as, you know, that stuff goes, I suppose. Still need to work on my docking and undocking techniques. Pretty tough for me still, but I think I can get it down. Because I do for the interplanetary missions, I do want to use a tug. And be able to uh, have an orbiter and a lander. That way we're able to get back to Kerbin and cut the engine. And that's the other cool thing about this, is you can see when that happens. Huh. Things did not work properly. Um... Okay. Minimus periapsis, a little higher than I'd like. Whoa! Well, that'll work. 
when this periaxis is right right like now. So yeah, that just happened. Let's go ahead and warp closer to Minmus. I'm going to try to get a ton of science out of this. There goes Jebediah like a madman around Kerbin. So we will get relatively close now. And slow. Huh. So let's add a maneuver there. Let's see if we can get into there we go. It's actually a closer orbit than I was attempting to get, but it works. It works really well as a matter of fact. So let's go ahead and line up with our target. Like I said, we should be able to get off of Minmus extremely easily as well. Let's go back. Still have quite a bit of fuel in this stage too. And so we're lined up with our target now. Got an estimated burn time of 18 seconds. But we'll see what happens there. The most important thing is that we start burning when we get to the periapsis. Ooh, oh, actually. Okay, okay. Everything's going according to plan. We're in Minmus' sphere of influence already. I brought along a lot of science -y stuff with me, so let's go ahead and use a mystery goo, see if we can get anything out of that. We did. So we're still quite a bit away from our node. But let's go ahead and get closer now. So we've already got 9.2 out of 550 science. It's not too bad, right? A little more than 1%. And go ahead and slow down. Try not to overshoot our node. Which tends to happen once we start talking, once I start talking to you guys. We are at about... 20 minutes now, a little bit more, and slow down, speed up, a little bit faster still, two minutes, one minute, and we'll start burning here in about 15 seconds, Billy bobbed in is super excited, let's see how close we are to Minmus at this point, where are you Minmus? Oh, there you are. Hi, Minmus. It's been a while. Oh, see what I mean by talking? Almost ran right past it. So we should be in Minmus's orbit very, very quickly. Usually the camera will spin around or something to signify that we're in orbit. All right, perfect. A very, very good uh, periapsis. Let's see if we can't get a crew report. Let's see what kind of crew report we can get out of this. Crew report, nothing. Got an EVA. Nothing. But we can go ahead and actually, at this point, go ahead and grab some data from this guy, since we know he will not be returning, whoop, that we have to grab it so we can get the data, whoop, collect data, remove data, so there's 9.2 of our science, and let's go ahead and board. Now what I'm thinking 
we should try to land in this crater that way we know for sure we're in a different biome so we'll want to start I think our descent right about here if we burn retrograde yeah that'll work so let's go ahead and get there like this and I could probably be doing this in a live stream as well which I may next time right, our node isn't here in just a few minutes Pretty close now. Let's forgot to line up with the target. Normally do that well in advance. We only need a little tiny burn, it looks like. And we'll burn right about now. an eye on it and right there is perfect all right so now the other thing we have to do is safely get rid of this guy a couple and just to make sure everything's good there uh, we'll want to actually move to the next stage as well. And let's go ahead and burn like this just to make sure that thing hits the ground before we do. Otherwise there could be disaster risk consequences. Alright, that should be good. Alright, so a quick save right here. I'm so confident in this landing. See if we can get any science out of this. 9.2, which we already got. Crew report, maybe. Nothing. All right, charge our EVA. Let's look at the surface. Let's go ahead and get closer to get rid of this node. Let's go ahead and get closer to the surface. We'll warp pretty quickly. And we're almost out of the crater, which is not what I want. So let's go ahead and uh, get back into our orbital view. Burn retrograde a little bit more. Try to make sure we land in this crater as much as possible. Fuel, we should be really, really good on fuel still. All right, that should be okay for now. Hmm. So I want to burn, whoops, that way, just to make sure I'm in the crater. Alright, that's good. Get rid of this maneuver -y thing. And look at where we are. Quick save right here, just because. Alright, we're starting to get close now. And let's go ahead and start to slow our descent. Let's go down below 50. Shouldn't take too much. Shouldn't take too much at all. Sorry if you guys can hear those birds outside the window in the background. We 
we are still pretty far away from the surface, I think, so we can get a little bit closer. Now it feels like we are super close, so I'm going to go ahead and put down the landing gear. We're going to slow down quite a bit. Should still be really good, though. Should have plenty of distance between us and the planet, the moon, the orbital body to uh, slow down. It's not the moon, but it's a moon. And Billy Bobden is just amazed at his surroundings. So we're going to go ahead and slow down to about, about 10 meters a second. Try to maintain that for the rest of the landing. If everything goes right, Billy Bobden will be the first Kerbal Knot to successfully not only land on Minmus, but also come back from Minmus, which is an amazing accomplishment. And we can't warp faster than one times at this point. So this could take a while, unfortunately, but I have decided that I'm going to do this episode in one cut, the whole landing, the exploration, and the return to Kerbal. Let's, uh, let's keep an eye on what we're doing as well. I think I can start to see the lights on the surface down there. Maybe. the thing is the planet or the minmus kind of sneaks up on you when you're landing it's hard to tell where you are it'd be nice if we were landing on a planet with atmosphere then we could just use parachutes but that's not the case so have plenty of fuel and this time i mean it slow down again any lights yet Nope. Okay, here's a shadow. So that is a sign, so we want to slow down even further now. Make sure we get our retrograde as much as we can towards the exact top, exactly away from the surface. Here's our uh, shadow over here Coming in for a landing now Still can't quite see the lights, but the shadow is getting really really close It's gonna be a perfect landing perfect landing And Stuck it All right, so we can go ahead and turn off SAS Let's get a crew report. And we are on the daytime side of the planet also, so that is very nice. We are on the Great Flats of Minmus. Let's go ahead and transmit that. And we'll also do a quick save, I suppose. We'll do a mystery goo. And we'll keep that. Let's do Materials Bay, 125 science, excellent. Don't forget to log the temperature. Log temperature, another 40 science. Um, what else do we have to do? We have to do, do we, did we bring any further experiments? Ooh, we have a lot more thermometers than I thought. It's not a big deal though. Now at this point, let's go ahead and do our EVA, let go, as long as we're here, that worked out really well, nice landing, Billy Bobden, let's do an EVA report, you feel a bit like a superhero when you jump in the low gravity, we'll keep that. 
go ahead and also, as long as we're here, we can pull some data out of this. Maybe. Okay, maybe not out of that one. But perhaps this one. Got it. This one, oh, that one hasn't been used. But this one, we can get. Nope, oh, that one hasn't been used either. So I'm not sure. I'll have to double check when I get back into the capsule. Whoops. I don't remember collecting the data, but I may have. It may be on video. Um, so let's take a surface sample, EVA report. Uh, no. Surface sample. You sneak a taste of the surface sample. Nope, it is definitely not made of delicious dessert products. All right, so we got that. And... Now the last thing we have to do is plant the flag. And we'll just call it Minmus Great Flaps. Hopefully this goes better than last time. Right, so we got that. Ooh, flag pushed this away. Let's pose for the camera. Just like that. And screenshot. Screenshot. All right, so let's go ahead and we've done what we need to do here. So we're going to get into a really low orbit around Minmus, probably about... And uh, let's go ahead and try to board. Easier said than done. Gotcha, gotcha. Nope. And I got it. Good deal. I suppose I got all the data already. Alright, so that's a good thing. Let's go ahead and quick save right here. And we will decide when we want to take off. Well, actually, the only thing I really want to do is get into a really low orbit around Minmus right now. So let's go ahead and do that. We can turn on SAS at this point as well. Shouldn't take too much to get into orbit. Going good so far. Going good, going good, going good. And let's go ahead and cut the engines there. We we'll get closer to the. Well, looks like we gotta sit tight for just a second. So we can fast forward. We should be able to fast forward starting now. Everything is going swimmingly so far. All right, as soon as we hit our apoapsis, we will burn and do an orbit. 
close enough right there. Let's turn towards our prograde and go ahead and burn. Thing is, we don't want to be too low. Should be good about there, though. So once we get kind of above this part over here, I'm going to go ahead and do another mystery goo. That should be good. And that didn't work the way I thought it would, so we're just going to leave it. Alright, so let's go ahead and plan our escape from Minmus. How much fuel did we have? I didn't even check. Oh yeah, plenty. Um, so we want to burn on the... Actually, right now would be a great place to burn. Let's go ahead and do it. And we will slow down here in just a second. Right, let's see if we can get inside Kerbin's atmosphere. Ooh, perfect. Alright, so that should slow us to a complete stop, hopefully. And we shouldn't have to use any more fuel at all on this mission, which will be great. Just great, but one thing we do need to do is collect our mystery goo, which I think was... this camera would cooperate. Was this one? Yeah. No. Actually, I didn't use the mystery goo, did I? Huh. <laughs> Silly me. So let's go ahead and, you know, maybe we should have landed on the moon as well, <laughs> since we have more than enough fuel. But let's go ahead and uh, SAS is off and everything's off. We'll quick save and we'll fast forward until we get to Kerbin. Kerbal. Kerbin? Kerbin, yeah, that's it, Kerbin. Of course, you don't feel like you're getting any closer at the moment. It'll slow us down. Whoa, what the heck happened? That should not have worked that way. Because our periapsis is low enough to the point, unless it just... didn't slow us down enough, which I thought it should have. Yeah, it should have slowed us down to like times one speed, at the very least. So let's go ahead and slow down time at this point. Billy Bob then should have all the data he needs. So I'll go ahead and decouple that as well as that and once we get in well we are already inside the atmosphere so this should be coming down rather rapidly our periapsis is really low so I mean we should be landing I'm not sure I guess I was going too fast the first time but whoa. Uh, turn on SAS, I suppose. Whoa, 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 okay, let's slow down time just a little bit. That way we can face our retrograde. Take a look, see, okay, this time it worked right. I don't know what happened on that first orbit around. We should be coming in for a landing pretty soon, right there. So let us go ahead and we'll deploy our parachute. And that should slow us down quite a bit. We want to try our best to follow the retrograde as much as possible. 
Ooh, look at the pretty mountains. Oops, wrong button. Get a screenshot of that. Could use that as a thumbnail in the future, or even for this episode. And everything is going good so far, which kind of makes me a little nervous. Because Billy Bobden has been to Minmus and back. Same can't necessarily be said for our other Kerbal Knots that have been there. And I guess we can fast forward a little bit. And let's not, just in case. We are coming for a landing really, really soon, which is a good thing. And we may actually be in a new biome on Kerbin as well. I'm not sure I've been here yet. Please. Okay. Okay, it worked. Whew. I was getting really nervous about that. Just had quite a bit of momentum. So let's go ahead and we can fast forward now until we get really, really close. Huh. Look at the parachute strings. They're being shrouded in shadow for some reason. Uh-oh, we're going to roll. Ha. Ha-ha. We're going to go ahead and leave on SAS just in case. And we're going to quick save. Can we get a nice little crew report? Not very much. Not worth very much, though. Let's go ahead and keep it, and we'll do an EVA as well. We'll keep that. And we'll also take a surface sample. We got a little bit of science from that. New biome and everything. So let's grab board and we'll recover the vessel. So how much science did we get from that? 464 science, that's not bad at all. So what do we get? We got the crew report from Kerbin's Mountains. A mystery goo observation while in space high above Minmus. Material study from Minmus's Great Flat, that was worth quite a bit. A mystery goo observation from Minmus's Great Flat, worth 50 science. A surface sample from Minmus's Great Flats, 150 science, that brought in a lot of data. Um, EVA report from Minmus's Great Flats, 40 science. Surface sample from Kerman's Mountains, 9 science. EVA report from Kerman's Mountains, 9 science. Temperature scan from Minmus's Great Flats, 40 science. And recovery of a vessel returned from the surface of Minmus was with 37 and a half science. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you like the new format I'm using. I'm testing it out. If not, um, we might go back to the other way. Just depends on how things go. As always, this is your friend Trickman. Oh, well, let's see what we got here. We do need these nuclear engines. Ooh, and I can unlock them now. Yeah, almost signed off before we did that. And I can also unlock this grabber, or we can unlock the repackable parachute. The barometer with the ladders. I really like the ladder. I need the ladders, too. I could use this. I could also use these. To help me um, when I detach parts. So, whoops. Um, and I can afford all of them. But these could come in handy as well. And these are some really cool parts right here. But I think, should I unlock this? debating 
I am debating. This one would come in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this one. That way, once I get to a planet with higher gravity. Well, hmm. This one could come in handy too. I'll decide later. As always, this is Frenchrickman01. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.